हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर उर्वशी शर्मा एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जर्नलिज्म एंड मास कम्युनिकेशन फ्रॉम जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर इन टुडे सेशन वील हैव अ लुक एट द टेक्निकल राइटिंग टीम सो लेट अस बिगिन विद द सेशन एडिटर इज अ पर्सन विद अ क्रिटिकल आई फॉर डिटेल एंड हैज अ वे ऑफ हिज और हर ओन विद वर्ड्स एंड लैंग्वेज एडिटर रीड्स थ्रू मैनुस्क्रिप्ट पॉलिशेज दैम and add value by refining and enhancing the text an editor plays the role between the author and the reader whatever the writer does not mean that it will necessarily reach the reader the editor steps in to cut out irrelevant and inaccurate and gives the reader a finished product that is a published book journal or an article editors usually work for print publications websites or a combination of the two they may also be on their own and do freelance work the specific role of the editor will depend largely on the company or publication they work for in most cases the editor is responsible for developing content ideas and assign stories to individual or team of writers they also involve themselves in reading content submissions and check for spelling grammar and punctuation errors editors are also responsible for verifying the authentic the authenticity of a story and the background of facts and figures used in a story the editor is one who will provide a go ahead go ahead for a piece of writing or book and it is only after this clearance that the material will get published in print media the editor will also be required to work with an art director to decide on layouts and send the approved version to the press for final printing not long ago editors used pen and paper to go about their job not anymore nowadays editing is almost entirely computer based editors of today need to be totally social media savvy as that is how they'll be able to promote their publications or website editors require being proficient in multimedia expertly handling graphics audio and video what are the different types of editor like any other profession editor need to work their way up in their career at the lowest rung the editor is assigned copy editing and proofreading text for errors in punctuation grammar and spelling they may also be involved in correcting the style and modifying the text as per periodical norms while also checking for accuracy and authenticity of the facts at the next round in the editorial career model is the assistant editor assistant editors are assigned special topics such as art and local news they assign stories to writers and reporters and do the first edit of the article at the top of the heap is the me- managing editor that is typically responsible for the daily operations of the publication or web portal the managing editor reports directly to the editorial chief the editorial chief runs the editorial department and is responsible for anything or everything that is published by the publication or the website they can hire employee and plan budgets and campaigns what are the responsibilities of an editor the role of the editor varies from the uh, from the form of publication books journals and website the nature of work scientific journal or book statistical or government publication and also the publishing house newspaper office or web portal however by and large the basic nature of responsibility broadly remains the same however some of the roles and responsibilities may overlap the editors have responsibilities primarily towards the following set of entities the author who provides the material the peer reviewer whose comment on the suitability of the manuscript for publication the readers the owners and publishers and public at large author and the editor authors are mainstay of any writing endeavor the editor's first responsibility are towards the author 
and this is awarded the highest level of importance because they are the source from every form of writing. Editor's Responsibilities Towards the Author The following are the main responsibilities of the editor towards the author. Issuing guidelines to the authors for planning, preparing and submitting the manuscript. Providing the policies or on authorship criteria of the publication. Treating all authors equally in courtesy, transparency, honesty, fairness and objectivity. Drawing up policy on what will constitute a conflict of interest for all related parties including officers, authors, staff and reviewers. Protecting the confidentiality of the document with respect to the author. Establishing and facilitating an effective system of peer review. Communicating editorial decision in an efficient and speedy manner so that they are clear and constructive. Coordinating with editors and references for smooth processing of the manuscript without any undue delay. Issuing clear guidelines for authors regarding acceptable practices for sharing experimental material and information, particularly those required to replicate the research before and after publication. Implementing and reviewing policies on a regular basis for handling ethical issues and allegations or findings of misconduct by author and anyone involved in the peer review process. Developing mechanisms in cooperation with the publisher to ensure timely publication of the accepted manuscript. Clearly communicating all the other editorial policies and standards. Next is peer and editor. The next interest group towards whom the editor has defined responsibility are the reviewers. The editors are responsible for monitoring and ensuring the fairness, timeliness, thoroughness and civility of the peer review editorial process. The most common form of peer review is accomplished by assigning the job of review to external references with the proper expertise. This ensures that positive value addition is done to improve the quality of the manuscript. In certain cases, the editor may not want an external referency for, to review the document simply because the external referees may not be aware of the policies and the rules followed by a particular publishing house. In such cases, review is done in-house. Peer reviewers invest a lot of time in reviewing the material or manuscript. Time is the essence for reviewers. They are simultaneously engaged in such activities and hence need to know exactly what is expected out of them. Therefore, it is extremely important to clearly define their responsibilities. The editor needs to do that and also needs to implement process that ensures smooth peer review to the furthest extent possible. Editor's Responsibility Towards Reviewers The following are the responsibilities of editor towards reviewers. To assign paper for review to reviewers appropriately as per their interest and expertise. To issue clear guidelines regarding confidentiality of the document and a specific timeline for completing of the review and submission. The editor has to ensure by issuing appropriate guidelines that the reviewers will not use any part of the document or take advantage of the document in any form before publication or submission of the document to the appropriate authority. The reviewers may be made aware of whatever means about the expectations regarding the scope, quality, content and timelines of the reviews. This is for ensuring a fair, constructive and informative review. Requesting that all reviewers identify any potential conflicts of interest and asking that they rescue themselves if they cannot provide an unbiased review. Ensure that the reviewers are allowed a reasonable time for completing their review and also that they are not overtaxed with too many reviews at a time. Publicly acknowledging the reviewer's contribution and also providing them opportunities to work on the editorial board or offer professional education credits. Reader and the editor. 
editors have wondrous task of educating readers too a rational and prudent approach towards editorial decision will ensure that the best content is selected and the readers are, in, are enriched by the same editors responsibility towards readers the following are the responsibilities of the editor towards the readers to evaluate manuscript in the right spirit so as to ensure that readers can draw necessary inferences from author's conclusion provide reference and author related information so that readers may be able to satisfy specific query that may arise while going through the writing identifying the individual and group authorship in unambiguous terms and authorship criteria has been met and verified to the best of the editor's ability and knowledge and disclosing the sources entirely creating mechanism to determine if the journal is providing what reader needs and want ensuring that authors accept the responsibility for the final published material to the extent of their contribution disclosing all relevant potential conflict of interest of those involved in considering a manuscript or affirming that none exist working with the publisher to attract the best manuscript and research that will be of interest to the readers maintaining the documents integrity that is correcting errors clearly identifying and differentiating types of content such as report of original data opinion pieces etc publisher and editor a publication's ownership may be with the professional societies or associations foundations universities hospitals research institutions library government organizations ngos or commercial publishers editors responsibility towards publisher following are the set of responsibilities of editors to publishers conducting peer review submitted manuscript compiling with the guideline and the procedures of the owner organization including any terms specified in the contract with that organization making recommendations about improved evaluation and dissemination of all material adhering to owners and publishers fiscal policies towards the publication so as not to encroach up editorial independence adhering to the agreed mission publication practices and schedule the different responsibilities referred to mentioned apply more or less on all types and forms of documents of publication so in this session we have seen that editor is one entity who has a responsibility of delivering the accurate correct and the complete information to the readers and for this the editor has to deal with many people or many professionals involved be it writer be it the publisher or be the it the reviewer so the editor has a responsibility towards the publisher uh, reviewer towards the author but most of it he has a responsibility towards his readers because whatever material he is giving or whatever material is passing through his editorial board has creates an image about the organization about the publication about the journal in the minds of the reader so editor is responsible for creating the image and the perception of the reader towards the publication thank you